In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, my Father God, Allah, Abba, I come to y'all in peace. Uh, blessing be upon all y'all. Peace and blessing be upon Abraham. Peace and blessing be upon Moses. Peace and blessing be upon Jesus. Peace and blessing be upon the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessing be, up, be upon the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And peace and blessing be upon all the worthy servants of Allah. Uh, in case y'all don't know, Allah is the proper name for God, my brothers and sisters. It's the only name that can't be attributed to nobody else. God our Father has many names. Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Ness, the Great I Am, the Beginning and the End, the First and the Last, the Alpha and Omega, the Creator of the Heavens and the Universe and all who dwell in Him. I am who I am. Uh, all these names are attributes of Him. But if you want to say it all, like my brother, Minister Louis Farrakhan said, you said, my brother Muslim got it down back. You say Allah. Where? Okay. Right. Bless y'all. I hope y'all been taking y'all time and continue to take y'all time one day at a time. Little by little, keep this in mind. Not everything going to be done for you at one time. You should add it in your mind. I know you want stuff to work just like that. I just, uh, it don't. You must take the good with the bad, my brother or sister, because you can't have one without the other. All right. You can't have ups without downs, fouls without free throws, daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours. All right. You got 12 hours a day and then you got 12 hours a night. Sometimes things are going to be sunny and smooth and sometimes they are not. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't nobody like it when stuff not going right. Uh, that's the nighttime moment. Uh, it's the reason for nighttime. I love to say this. Stars only shine at night. That's the only time you can see stars shining. My, they always out there. <laughs> they they not. <laughs> they always there. But the only time you can see a star shining <laughs> is at night. <laughs> and you are a star, my brother, sister. And in the darkest hours of your life, you can shine ever so bright <laughs> uh, during the midst of the night. If you allow the process to do what God our Father intend for it to do, He wants you to call on Him. He, uh, how you shine in the night of uh, Israel? You got your Bible? Turn to Philippians real quick. Tell you how to shine during the night. If this don't work, tell me that God is wrong. But uh, you probably not applying it if it's not working uh, correctly, because God don't lie. God our Father don't lie, and His word is true. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14, Brother Paul said, Do everything without grumbling. Don't grumbling. Uh, do everything without grumbling or arguing. Most of the time, when stuff not right, uh, uh, attitude, your attitude in the situation can determine whether you stay there or come out of it. Mm. You want to have the right attitude. God know your mind and your heart. You see what I'm saying? Mm. A lot of people can put the smell, go down, look good, but mm, the heart and mind ain't where God or Father wanted to be. Uh, that's why they started grumbling and arguing. Paul said, do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God, without fault, in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky, you see. As you hold firmly to the word of life, you must hang on to the word of life, my brothers or sisters. That's how you shine. And you can you would tell who shine by who taking God at his word. True. And you don't gotta be on you don't gotta be seen. You know what I'm saying? Most of y'all you don't see what I do. I've been saved five years going on six. Uh coming up at the end of this year. Yeah. And I've been doing videos. I don't know which one. It's like seven something or whatever. I've been saved five years going on six. Before I started doing videos, man, <laughs> word. I just now started recently, like a year or two, or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Before then, <laughs> word. Just already doing this without being seen. You see, I don't got to be seen. I just got so much. I got to give it up. And you don't see no one to my left. You don't see no one to my right. <laughs> this ain't for no, uh, to be seen, to get nothing, because I don't get nothing from this. A lot of y'all get paid, you get likes, you get, you, you even got revenue coming in some type of way. I don't got a dollar coming in, not one. I never received one dollar, I never received one donation, I never received nobody's help to do what I'm doing. In fact, people probably want me to stop. I know for a fact people want me to stop doing what I'm doing. I heard people close to me <laughs> say, you know, they don't, people don't really care about what, do you see what I'm saying? So why are you doing what you're doing? Just 
to get one person. If I if I if I reach one young man, one young or one young sister, and they take what I give them and run far with far than I can take, you know that's that's worth living for. Even if I if I if I close my eyes, that I go and that and stand before the Lord, just to hear those words, well done, my good and faithful servant. Just to hear those seven words, that's worthy of it all, man. You see what I'm saying? But uh, I got so much to give. I got to give up, you see what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to work, because not many people going, I, I will watch videos from 1988, 1987, up till present time of, of Minister Louis Farrakhan. You see what I'm saying? If anyone who truly interested in learning, they gonna go look and find and do some digging, like the word said. Or you see that, Devonta? I can tell a real young man of God or a real young woman of God because they're going to do some day, like the words. So, uh, it says in Proverbs chapter 2, My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, uh, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out uh, for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it, ask for silver. <laughs> Listen, if you look for wisdom, it says more benefits of wisdom, the title. <laughs> The wisdom is the wisdom of God. I ain't talking. I ain't talking about being wise in the worldly standpoint. In the, wise in the worldly standpoint. There's many people who are wise in the world, but that wisdom is foolishness. The Lord says. Yes. No. Uh, First Corinthians. Bear with me. You see, how I keep on rolling. I'm not. I ain't got nothing wrote down. I'm not script. No coordinate. You see what I'm saying? Bear with me. I'll show you what I mean. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, Brother Paul said, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us uh, who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligence, the intelligence of the intelligent, I will frustrate hmm, far as in the world. Hmm. Uh, where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolishness? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Yeah, a lot of people wise in the worldly standpoint, philosophers, teachers, and this and that. That's worldly wisdom. And as you see, look at the condition of the people. A lot of people messed up because of this worldly wisdom. God said those who love the world is the enemy of, of him. Most of the people love is is wisdom of the world. You see what I'm saying? Everything they know. Uh, that's why the Lord said, don't be conformed to the pattern of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind is full of worldly wisdom, that, which is full of bull crap. But godly wisdom, for y'all, my young brother or young sister who go looking for this, it'll save your life. And what is this wisdom? This wisdom is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Truly. Uh, go back to 1 Corinthians. I ain't got to go too far. You know, told you, stay, stay in line with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, say, It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who, who has become for us wisdom from God. That is, our righteousness, our holiness, and our redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. I like that. Will y'all truly look for this wisdom? You got to go do some digging and research. And they, they're going to do some digging and research. I can tell. I'll, I'll be able to tell who's serious. A mile away. You see what I'm saying? I never met the brother, Minister Farrakhan. I go watch his videos. Uh, all right, listen. It says, if you look for wisdom uh, if you, and look for it as you look for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Amen. You see? Uh, how did I get here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how I got here. Uh, at all. <laughs> I just really don't even know how I got there. <laughs> but the wisdom, for y'all go looking for my brother, sister, y'all will be blessed in, uh, in what you do and apply. All right? Oh, yeah, I don't do this for no fun and fashion. You see what I'm saying? Nobody to my left, nobody to my right. Mm -hmm. Why you do it then? It's, like I say, for that one person who can take what I give them that the Lord gave me and run with it even farther, my brother, sister. Mm -hmm. Where, but even if, even if the only one, 
this and that. To close my eyes and hear those words, well done, my good and faithful servant. I'm happy and blessed with that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Because the Bible says, save yourself from this corruptible generation. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. How you save yourself? By accepting what God wants you to accept. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. That's not for no one else to do. That's for you to do, my brother. So you see what I'm saying? Hmm. Uh, many people destroy themselves every day. Do you, you don't got to. It says, my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. You better be smart to pick up the right knowledge. Hmm. Knowledge from God. Uh, I ain't just I ain't talking about my book, but from from his, his book, the true knowledge of God. You see what I'm saying? That He will hmm, feed you hmm, directly. You see what I'm saying? Listen, hmm. I love this. Go to Psalms 23. You know, oh, I, I did so much talk. Hmm. Uh, Y'all forget <laughs> before I keep on talking. <laughs> All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Allah. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet Holy Spirit. God, to give credit, honor, and glory to His due. Whatever today is, today is Sunday, uh, September the 1st, uh, 5.24 a.m., 2024. The best is yet in store. I like to be up while most of the people snore. If you didn't get you one of these books, you should have got you one before. It's a nice little pack uh, called Knowledge from God Almighty. By some dude named the Bonte Farmer, volume one, whoever he is. Nice book, nice name, <laughs> but don't no book replace the Bible. <laughs> I don't care what book you got. <laughs> I can give you a hundred books. <laughs> uh, you're never going to get step two until you take step one. Step one is taking God's word, okay? Everything you need, can need, and will need is found in God's word, and God's word alone. If there's any truth to any books, they're going to point you to the Bible. <laughs> Lord, I love to read the Holy Quran. That is a divine inspired word of God, revelations from God, given by God Almighty himself to the prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel, and it points you to the Bible. The Bible and the Holy Quran go hand in hand. <laughs> Word. You see what I'm saying? Mm. All right. But anyway, uh, yeah, I like this. Go to Psalm 23, verse 1. Brother David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Mm. Word. I don't care what you got, what you don't got. If you got God, your father, Allah, my brother, sis, mm. you are. Right. You ain't, you ain't going to lack nothing. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, you're going to be all right. David, David lost it all, but he had it all at the same time. <laughs> what good is it to have a kingdom, but not have the king? <laughs> what good is it to have a world, but not have the credit of the world? Jesus said it best. What good is it if a man gained the whole world, yet forfeited his soul? <laughs> uh, David lost it all, but he had it all at the same time. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack none. <laughs> he made me lie down in green pastures. He leads me uh, beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. I like that. Uh, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. This oil is a representation of the Holy Spirit. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness God's goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love that right there, man. I like that. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Who are we talking about? We're talking about God is following. <laughs> David knew who God was, Allah, and he knew who the Messiah was. <laughs> uh, very important. <laughs> and to have the spirit of God, very important. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> These are God. Before I keep on going, it's a lot of people talk about Jesus, who I love and I follow, try to follow with all my, with everything in the sin. It's a lot of people who talk, uh, Abraham or Moses, who I love and would try to follow with all my being. It's a lot of people talk, the Prophet Muhammad, who I love and would try to follow with all my being. It's a lot of people talk, a lot of people, listen, there would be no Moses if there was no Jehovah. People talk Moses, but they don't say nothing about Jehovah. People talk Jesus, but they don't say nothing about God the Father. There would there would be Jesus, the Son of God. He has a Father. What you saying? What you trying to say is, I love Moses. I love Jesus. I love the Prophet Muhammad. There will be no Prophet Muhammad if there was no Allah. Jehovah, God the Father, and Allah are all the same. No different. Just different names, different times, 
but the same. You see what I'm saying? Same person. Job, uh, Allah, uh, and God the Father are one and the same. Just different names. Just like my old name, Devontae. I'm going by his. I'm the same. You see what I'm saying? Like, different name. Same person, though. But different. All right. But different name. Same person. But anyway, God is one. But many people don't. Many people make it more clear. It's, you can truly tell who know who truly know Jesus, who truly know uh, Moses, who truly know the prophet Muhammad. How? Because they know God, their father. <laughs> if I listen, <laughs> I listen, man. <laughs> Many people just talk Jesus, but they don't. They, they don't know God, their father. When Jesus came there, he said, "This is how you should pray: Our Father in heaven." The very first thing he established is a relationship with God, his father. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? It is impossible to claim to have Jesus but don't have the Father. And if you just know Jesus but don't know the Father, you don't know him as you ought to know him. True. Because when you see him, you understand the Father. You see what I'm saying? The Father reveals himself to you through Jesus, through his word. You see what I'm saying? Before Jesus was, before Jesus was on the scene, same thing with Moses. Moses revealed the Father to the people. He taught the people that God is one. Yes, no, same thing Jesus taught. The worship the Father. But many people, y'all look at the servants and put the servants over the Father. You don't even mention the Father. That's the power socket. I love Jesus and follow him. That is my Lord and Savior. And he pointed out his Father. How do you not understand it? Many people don't talk about the Father. That's why they don't got no power. Because they just, <laughs> and if you truly follow Jesus as he truly wants you to and desire you to and truly take him at his word, you're going to have some type of power. For those who truly follow Jesus for the right reasons and uh, you're not fully aware of what's going on, you're you, you doing what God asks you to do by listening to Jesus. That's why you got some type of power to some degree. You see what I'm saying? Because you're doing that from your heart. You hear me? But you will have a lot of power when you understand God, your father, who sent Jesus. <laughs> that's that's the whole reason Jesus is there to, to, to teach you about your father. <laughs> the very first thing he said, this is how you should pray. Our father in heaven. <laughs> Did he not say that? <laughs> Jesus said, the father is greater than I. <laughs> Did he not say that? <laughs> Jesus, when he was going to the cross, he said, my God, my God, why did you forsake me? Who was he talking about? <laughs> Obviously, there is someone over Jesus. You know, it throw me off because a lot of people don't understand this. <laughs> and that's why they <laughs> don't 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 got no power at all. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> uh Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty five, Jesus at that uh brother Matthew wrote, At that time, Jesus said, Titus say the Father revealed in the Son. It says, At that time, I praise you. Jesus said, I praise you. Father, Jesus praises Father. He said, I praise you, Father. A lot of y'all, a lot of people worshiping Jesus. <laughs> Listen, Jesus, God our Father, will accept your worship of him through Jesus. It's a story when Jesus was walking on the water and Peter tried to walk on the water and uh, Jesus saved Peter. And when uh, they, they they seen him do this, and they fell down at his feet and worshipped him. They was not worshipping Jesus directly as in worshipping him, but they was worshipping God our Father through him because they recognized, they, they said, truly, you are the son of God. Mm, truly. Mm. They was not, listen, Jesus was with his, his 11 disciples the whole time, but they was not constantly on their face. Why? Because they did not fully recognize who he was. You see what I'm saying? But at, at that moment right there, when Jesus saved Peter, when he came walking on the water, they recognized who he was and his deity. <laughs> Truly. And they was not worshiping him. <laughs> they was worshiping God through him. Because they recognized who he is. When you recognize who Jesus is, truly, you got no choice but to fall down on your face, El Shinda, one and I, you listen to him. It's impossible to, to be able to stand up in his presence. You see, he, he's that great. He's that powerful. He's that armor. But when he was around, they didn't even recognize him. They was walking with him, but they weren't constantly on their face. That's because they didn't understand him. 
But when you understand who he is, <laughs> when, you, when you see that, you, you're going to fall down on your face. They, and they seen that. Yeah, that's why they worshiped him. They were not, but they were not worshiping him directly. As in, they, wasn't, they was worshiping God through him. Do you see what I'm saying? Where it's a big difference. Uh, they don't explain it in the scripture. You see what I'm saying? And most of the people in the church, they get the people to worship Jesus. That's why they don't got no power. Jesus never said worship me. If you could find one scripture in the verse, if you could find one verse in the Bible where Jesus says, worship me, I'd never read again. And I, I apologize saying I'm wrong. When they worshiped him, he didn't, he didn't tell them stop because Jesus understood they was worshiping God through him. <laughs> Jesus understood. Just like I understand what I'm just what I'm telling y'all, he understands more than me. <laughs> but the people, they don't understand. You see what I'm saying? And they, look, they, even the people, they teach the people to worship Jesus. You go and look at the, the church and stuff, man. <laughs> they got Jesus all messed up. Jesus will be flipping tables over on these people if he is a, <laughs> the, you know what I mean? But <laughs> the ignorance of the people. And wonder why they don't got no power. And wonder why they getting whooped left and right. Wonder why they, you see what I'm saying? Where? I'm telling you, man. Uh, but listen, when you truly know who Jesus is, you're going to know the follow. Because I see people all the time, and it keep on catching my ear. People keep talking about Jesus. I love Jesus. I follow Jesus. But what's throwing me off is they're not saying nothing about God the Father. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's rather you don't know him or you don't know enough about him because Jesus will reveal to you who God the Father is. Jesus said, when you see me, you see my Father. How can he say that? Because Jesus was in, perfect, in such perfect submission to God as Father. He can say, when you see me, you see my Father. So when you just talk with Jesus and don't say nothing about God the Father, you, you don't really know him to, to some degree. You see what I'm saying? Listen. Jesus said, uh, Matthew 11, verse uh, 25, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you, you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were, this is what you were pleased to do. You see how Jesus is talking about his father? <laughs> Listen, man, when the, the, you see people around church, church, they just talk about Jesus. Jesus talk about his father. <laughs> you, don't hear nobody, you don't hear many people talking about Jehovah. You don't hear many people talking about uh, God the Father. You don't hear, you don't hear many, many people talking about Allah. <laughs> it's always Moses, Jesus, or the Prophet Muhammad. When, if, if Moses, Jesus, and the Prophet Muhammad was alive and physically present, they will all be telling you about God the Father. <laughs> Worship him. Serve him only. God is one. Our Father in heaven. Jesus said the, the Father is greater than that. How y'all put the servants over, over the creator? He would not want you to do this. The servants themselves would not want y'all to do this. <laughs> Jesus said, All these, all things have been committed to me. By my father. No one knows the son except the father. And no one knows the father except the son. And those to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I give you rest. Uh, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, Jesus said. Mm. You know, Jesus. He, he taught us about our father. First thing he said, it's like you should pray, our father in heaven. <laughs> he, had, he clearly had a relationship with God as father. How come the people don't? They don't even know them, they don't even know their father. Who Jesus said, when you see me, you will see him. <laughs> Most of the people. <laughs> Just got Jesus, but they really don't got him because they don't got the Father, and they really don't got the. And you would know if they had the Father because the Spirit of God will be guiding them. It's the Holy Spirit who leading you to Jesus, and Jesus is gonna lead us to be home with our Father in heaven one day. He will clearly teach you about his Father. And Deuteronomy chapter six, verse one, it says, "These are the commands, decrees, and laws the Lord your God directed me to teach you." Moses said. 
to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess, so that you, your children, and their children after them may fear the Lord your God as long as you live <laughs> by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you. Listen, God was working with God our Father was working with Moses. <laughs> Moses knew who God the Father was. He he knew who Jesus was. He even got to see him. He even got to see the backside of him. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Moses and <laughs> God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, the Spirit of God. <laughs> Moses knew who God the Father was. <laughs> Moses had the Son. The Son is the Word of God. <laughs> Clearly, Moses had the Word. <laughs> And the Spirit of God was leading them. Cloud by day, pillow of fire by night. Mm. Very important pieces. <laughs> the main piece is the Father, to understand Him. Yeah? And He will reveal Himself to you through His Son, through the Word. Yeah, no? Mm. And it's the Spirit of God that will enlighten you <laughs> and lead you. Yes? No? And so that you may enjoy long life uh, here in Israel and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors promised you. Here, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. Mm. I like that. He's one. Mm. What about the Holy Trinity? Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity, Israel. Mm. What about it? Do you not believe in that? Yes, I do. God the Father, the Son of God, God the Father, Allah, Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What? You just you just now said God is one. Yes, but you just named three. God is one, and He can exist. He God is one. Don't get that misunderstood. But he dwells in three. But he one. It's just like I'm one person. But I will dwell in three. What you mean? I got a father who is older than I am. I come from him. All right. I I exist in him. And if I have a son, I will exist in him. I'm one person though. But I exist, I exist in him. I was in him before I was in me. And if I have a son, I will be in him. Okay. But I'm one though. All right, listen, I can't do what God the Father did because I'm a human being. I'm limited and restricted, you hear me? Uh, but I still dwell, I understand that I dwell in my, my physical father and I, I will dwell in my son if I ever was to have one. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's on a human scale. God the Father does things on a greater scale. You see what I'm saying? But listen, he is one. There is no one over the Father. Father's at the top, all right? But he has a son who is under him, all right? And he has a he has a spirit, which is which is his spirit. Just like I have a spirit, it's, it's a part of him. You see what I'm saying? It's one and the same. You see what I'm saying? If you can understand it. A lot of people take the Holy Trinity and try to make it into three different parts. Uh, what I mean is, the Holy Trinity, you got God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, but God the Father is in all three. It's not. It's there. Three. It's three and one. It's. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna say it just like I want to say it. You know, it's a. Uh, they try to make division between the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. You see, what I'm saying? God is in all three. All right, but it's one. You see what I'm saying? But the God the Father is on top. You see, you understand what I'm trying to say? A lot of people make, they try to put Jesus over the fall, the Holy Spirit, this and God is one. Don't get that misunderstanding. Don't, don't, don't uh, misunderstand it. You see what I'm saying? Many people, uh, they take it and mess it up. I understand the Holy Trinity, God the Father, uh, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Holy Spirit, okay? God is one, though, but he, he, he working through Jesus, and he, he clearly has a spirit which he works through. He don't got to lift a muscle, he, he not, not by strength, not by might, but by my, but by my spirit. All he got, all he, all he, man, he does things by his spirit. 
I can't explain how to do stuff. Like, I, <laughs> it's like some old telepathy or do certain certain stuff. You could do stuff with your spirit. <laughs> Most humans don't can't do this. <laughs> some some probably can. They can they can tap into their spirit to some degree and and work in a and work in a different realm that many of us cannot work in. <laughs> the spiritual realm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is this is God's base. <laughs> This is him, okay? Where he work in the spiritual realm, but he spiritual also manifests in, in physical. Do you see what I'm saying? Man, I'm trying to explain so y'all be all day. But it's very I love the fact uh, if you understand, you understand. If you don't, it's not meant for you to understand right now. All right? And I ain't by the way, uh few hours trying to explain it to you. But God is one, okay? Uh many people uh, they trying to make three different gods. <laughs> Where God is one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the son of God. And you got the, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of God. <laughs> but it's all coming from God the Father. <laughs> all right. He won. <laughs> all right. He working through Jesus and he working with his spirit. <laughs> all right. <Word. laughs> he does this. Okay. Now. I'm not scripting no coordinate. I was talking to one of my brothers the other day. It was yesterday. And the brother said, uh, he, he, uh, said he, he was going home next year or something. He wanted to invite me to Africa. <laughs> I said, that's cool. This and that. But he messed me up because he said, uh, he said, I want you to come give your testimony. This and that. But you, you got to change your clothes, man, because they're not going to listen to you like that. I thought to myself, I said, I said, I know Brandon just say what I thought he said. He said, yeah. He said, you got to change your clothes, man. They're not going to listen to you like that. They said, no. He said, he said no. <laughs> How am I supposed to dress? <laughs> we don't put a suit on. <laughs> uh, no, no disrespect to my white brothers. Why you want to dress like a white person? And come to you talking nice, proper, sweet, this and that, whatever. Because that's the case, man. I ain't. <laughs> Where? <laughs> this, is, this, is my, this is a black brother who's telling me, bro, you got to change your clothes when you come to Africa, this and that, because they're they, they not going to accept you like that. I said to myself, well, damn. Jesus probably already came to these people, but they were judging. <laughs> What you, that's what I said to myself. I ain't said it damn. That's what I wanted to say. You see what I'm saying? I said damn to myself. I said, bro. <laughs> I said, this is my own brother telling me that I got to change my clothes if I go to Africa and, and dress a different way. I can't come how I am. <laughs> if you don't like me how I am, damn it. I, I, it just made me not want to go. And if there's a lot of people like that who think in the same way, <laughs> man, I ain't got time for that. Listen, <laughs> it just, to make a long story short, Saul anointed David. God told Sam, I mean, I mean Samuel anointed David. God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house and pick out one of his sons or whatever. Verse 8 is say, Then Jesse called Abimadad and had him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then had Shemaiah pass uh, by, but Samuel said, Nor has the Lord chosen this one. In, sec, in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse, uh, verse 10. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen none of these. Uh, so he asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest son. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to think. make sure I miss my point. I might have missed my point. Uh, let me see. Uh, forget it. I got it at myself. In First Sam chapter sixteen, verse uh, verse six, it says, "When Samuel, when they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab, uh, Eliab, and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord.' But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance.'" Uh, or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, <laughs> but the Lord look, looks at the heart. <laughs> That's the very first thing that popped up in my mind, man. <laughs> this is my own brother telling me I gotta change my clothes so I go to Africa. If he said he wanna take me home, take me, uh, he wanna, wanna visit to, to go talk to the people, this matter or that. <laughs> but telling me I gotta change my, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, man. <laughs> I ain't putting on a show for nobody. I ain't gonna put on no show for y'all. 
I ain't gonna put on no show for no people who I work with. I ain't gonna put on no show for people who I live around. I don't give a damn what people think about me. Far as this and that, you see, Jesus would be the same way. <laughs> right? It say in Isaiah fifty three, he had nothing to attract us to him. Far as, as far as his appearance, a lot of people y'all look at someone who got a nice stature, nice figure, and you want that person to, oh, he's just awesome. But it's someone who don't fit y'all's, uh, who don't live up to y'all standards, <laughs> and that's the person God wants y'all to look at and listen to. You know what I'm saying? You you overlook God. You overlook the one God wants you to to hear. <laughs> All simply because of what they look like, and that's many people's problem. I'm pointing out my own people's problem. I just now told you it's a black bro who asked me to, to go with him to Africa when he go home. But he said, I got to change my appearance. God told Sammy, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. Many of y'all looking at the outside. This light skinned dude, or you got a nice house, nice car, this and that. That's how people look. You know, as long as y'all see these things, <laughs> you miss them what God truly wants you to see. That's why many people don't see. A lot of people got eyes, but blind as hell. That <laughs> just show something, something very small, man. <laughs> I can see your whole thinking. A lot of people, <laughs> people do this all the time. People around me who say something, they don't, they don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> I said, these, I know they ain't just say that they tripping. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell them they tripping because they, they be all right. <laughs> but I tell them they tripping on that one right there. But it is what it is. And once I see, it's like someone. <laughs> if I see you got a problem, <laughs> clearly you got a problem, and this and that, I can see that. <laughs> I ain't about to scratch at your problem because <laughs> you probably don't want to fix the problem. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Misery like company. <laughs> uh, and I ain't about to just. I can see. Uh, what? Uh, dang. <laughs> Trying to be nice. Uh, Try and say this a nice way I can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Once I see something awful, whatever, because people, they do this all the time. If you listen to people talk, they say some dumb crap. <laughs> like, I know they didn't just say what I thought, think they said, but they said it. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can see your whole thought process by what you're saying sometimes. <laughs> like, dude ain't got a dog, but I ain't gonna say that. Well, she ain't got a dog, but I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> like, because it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, I ain't gonna judge you. I just know when when I know something, it's like if you see someone if you see someone around, you know they kind of tripping or whatever. You can pick on them for tripping, or you can just get out of the way because you obviously you see that person is tripping, bro. You know what I mean? You wanna, I'm gonna slap because I can mess with you, right? But that, that wouldn't be helpful for me because what am I gonna gain from you? Know what I'm saying? Word. Uh, I just thought to myself, dang, man, to myself, I said, damn, my own bro. Because <laughs> when I got to change my parents before I go to Africa, I said, ain't that about what I said, they not want to go, man. I said, this and that. I got people here. <laughs> I ain't got time to go a different place. And I got people here thinking that, I got people in America thinking that exact same way. <laughs> it just make you want to do something sometimes. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But nevertheless, I don't do what I do to try to win people over. When Jesus was down here, <laughs> I just thought Jesus said, bless you, Father. <laughs> Jesus, one thing I love, and I choose to follow Jesus, I love his ways. Many of y'all people, uh, y'all worry about trying to convince the whole world. Hey, <laughs> Jesus ain't trying to convince the whole world. In fact, you know, the world didn't like him. And he said, if the world hates you, <laughs> is that not what he said? Jesus said, if the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. <laughs> Where, he, that's what he said. You know, the world don't like me. But I don't give a damn what the world like and who they like or don't like. You see what I'm saying? Word. I just know what Jesus said. And his words have been standing true ever since they came. Uh, he said, if the world don't like you, keep in mind, uh, if the world hates you, keep in mind, they hated me first, man. <laughs> and they hated him without a reason. You know what I mean? So you, you could be doing stuff right, they still gonna hate you. All right? <laughs> Here's what it is. Uh... How did I get here and where was I going to? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, going somewhere to, to help people. I got people here who are thinking the exact same way. Mm -hmm. Or make you feel like, man, mm -hmm. don't even mess with this crap. Do this and do that. Trying to help. But mm -hmm. I, I love, that's why Psalm 16, verse 8, David said, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. 
with him in my right with him in my right hand, I won't be shaken. <laughs> because the word is shake yeah, it'll make you think the world don't care nothing about God for real. <laughs> and, the, and the people who what, what really burn me up is all these religious people <laughs> who claim to love Jesus. <laughs> Yet they doing everything <laughs> they doing everything against what he's saying. <laughs> they judging the people by the outside appearance. Or little stuff <laughs> and all man, it's just so much I don't even want to pinpoint. But <laughs> if that was the case, if that was the case, the reason uh many people just be like, man, I ain't messing with this stuff. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But it's not for that reason, though. It's for an individual thing. You serve the Lord out of your heart, but uh, for uh, your best purpose. <laughs> uh, Joshua said, as for me and my household, we're going to serve the Lord. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. <laughs> if y'all want to take God's name, mess it up, twist it, and do this and whatever, that's on y'all, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I know I ain't with that, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. Y'all do what y'all want to do. <laughs> as for me and mine, <laughs> if you ain't with me up under me, this and that, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I can have children, and if they not up under me, I ain't got nothing to do with what they doing. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm pray for y'all, this and that. Uh, if it work out for you, it work. If it don't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Jesus said that I'm God of I'm saying I'm gonna wipe away every tear from your eye when you get to heaven. You see what I'm saying? I would like to see all my people come to heaven and get up there and go, <laughs> people don't make it up. That ain't on me. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I feel bad because I know <laughs> you don't want to go to heaven. Uh, that's a place where don't nobody want to go to. <laughs> you shouldn't want to go to. If you think it's worse here, <laughs> it's black as darkness. And if you if people a lot of people think uh <laughs> they're gonna bring a lot of people with them and have fun or whatever. It's black darkness. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to see the next person. Close your eyes. You, I can't even explain black is darkness to you. It's like out in space. You know what I'm saying? Where you can't see. When, when I have a half of the moon, when you can't, that's black dark. You can't see. You cannot even see it. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's, but it's darkness even beyond that. Where you can't, you can't, you separate from the presence of the Lord. You close your eyes right now. You, you, his presence is, is around to some degree. You can still feel. It's people who are blind, but they can still feel light and stuff around them. You see what I'm saying? You can still feel that this is a you, you this is a this is a dark feeling of empty, being tortured 24/7 day and night. Where you? I don't even want to. I don't even want to think about it. I'm glad I ain't got to. But, but for the people though. Uh, uh, Where is I going to meet? I don't know. I was going somewhere. I had a few things I was thinking about. <laughs> but I kind of went that way. And really don't know which way I was turning to after that. <laughs> uh, I was going somewhere about that black darkness thing. but I guess I just ended off with this or whatever. Uh, in Matthew and Luke chapter... 16 verse 19 it says there was a rich man uh there was a rich man who was dressed in purple every day uh, and fine linen and lived in luxury every day uh, at his gate was, la was laid a beggar named lazarus who was, who was covered with sores and longed to eat what fell from the rich man's table even the dogs came and licked the sores the time came when the beggar died and the angels carried and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried in Hades, where he was in torment. Uh, people in hell think they having a bad time. <laughs> they having the worst time. Uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I think a lot of these people will sell they will lose their souls <laughs> for a little bit of money. They lose they first, first before you lose your soul, cause it ain't like you you don't sign your name on the paper. How you lose your soul then? Is you first your mind go first mind body and spirit. You know what I'm saying? First you give away your mind to say, but how you do that? With everything you think about, most of y'all before you get the before you get to the physical before you get to the spiritual help, you in physical help. Yes, no. I think you say I feel like I'm living in hell because you is in heaven. Three, everything, everything dwells in three. Yeah, everything dwells in three. 
heaven <laughs> is a real physical place. It's a spiritual place. And it's also a state of mind. <laughs> Where uh, hell <laughs> is, a, is a real physical place, real spiritual place, and it's a real state of mind. Three. <laughs> Everything is this in three. Solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> Water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Water can be ice. Could be could be a liquid, it could be gas. <laughs> Everything is this in three. You know what I'm saying? What you're trying to say is uh, the dude was uh he was in Hades. Before he got to Hades, he was already there he was already there uh, mentally though. You know what I'm saying? Listen. In Hades, where he was in torment, uh, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am, I am in agony in this fire. Mm -hmm. Dude, spiritual body in fire. Mm -hmm. It's one thing when your body can be tormented. It's a whole other thing when your spirit being tormented. Mm -hmm. That's a degree I can't even explain to you. <laughs> you, just, you probably, the closest thing I can probably is when you sleep or something and you something happening in your sleep. <laughs> you can wake up out of your sleep. This is a 24-7 uh, rest of your life thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's on a scale where you can't imagine. <laughs> Word, just to say no eye has seen, no, eye, no ear has heard, <laughs> no mouth has uh, spoken of the good things God has in store for those who love him. It's the exact opposite, vice versa. No ear has heard, no eye has seen, no mouth has spoken of, of the things God has in store for those who hate him. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't even want to begin to see. You can't even... <laughs> My goodness. And if you could, you'd be... <laughs> you wouldn't be doing what you're doing, what you're doing now. <laughs> Why? People want to be a damn basketball or football player. <laughs> you lose your moral. Look at the people, man. <laughs> They turning people into punks. I don't mean to use that that language or whatever, but hmm, exactly what the people is. I I ain't got no problem. I don't support people whatever they doing against the Lord. Hmm. Smoke and drink whatever. You see, if I'm doing something, I, if I'm doing something, I don't support. Hmm. I used to, I used to do something I can't talk about on here or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Uh, I, I don't approve. I, I, was, I wouldn't approve of little children hustling trying to make money. You see what I'm saying? You do what you got to do. But I don't approve of it. If that's what you're doing, boy, I'm telling you, think the way you should go over it. You see what I'm saying? I understand you do what you got at that's cool, but I don't approve of it. I ain't going to never let you think that's okay. All right? Because it's, it's wrong. All right? Whatever lifestyle you live in. I said the people making people punch. I ain't got nothing against people who buy sexual this and that or that. It's a one one. Mental disease ain't no different from the rest of them. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but the people approve of this type of stuff. You see what I'm saying? And they, they turn the people inside out. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what they, they they lose themselves. <laughs> you see this happen all the time. That, that's, the, that's the main thing. That's the biggest agenda that the people push in these days. That they, <laughs> they turn people against them <laughs> to, to destroy themselves. <laughs> a man was created for a woman. First of all, you wouldn't be here if it was not for a man and a woman. The moment you got a man and a man, you destroying life. A woman and a woman, you destroying life. You can't, you can't create. Are you dumb or stupid? You weren't born. A man is a man. A woman is a woman. That's just not, that's, that's obvious. You not, you don't grow up. Little boys don't grow up thinking that woman. Little women don't grow up thinking that man. It's something that was projected into your mind. Something that was placed inside it. Rather from a sort of hormone that was fed to you as from birth or whatever, but that's not the work of God. That's the work of Satan. God, God's not the all the confusion. You might be confused, but God ain't. He know what he was doing. He made a man. He made a woman. God don't make niggas, punks, bitches, hoes, and this and that. That's the work of that. That's the work of the devil. All right. Excuse my language. God make man. Black man, white man, Chinese man. All God make man. Anything other than a man is the work of the devil. <laughs> That's why y'all are dogs and this and that. <laughs> you on a you on a, you on a horizontal level. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but 
But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want, who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. <laughs> You know, even though, even though dude in hell, he, he's saying, you know, I, I, dude in hell, whoever this dude, Jesus telling the story, how he know? <laughs> he know. People say, and you never heard anyone come back to heaven or come back from, oh, yes, we have. <laughs> it's, someone, it's someone who told us a story. It's rather you believe it or don't believe it. And if you don't believe his story, just go back and look through history. <laughs> all ancient civilizations, Egypt, Greece, Rome, they all believe in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> to present day America, people don't believe in afterlife. Hmm. But you see the effects of afterlife. Hmm. You don't believe in afterlife, but you see angels and demons and stuff running around whooping y'all's butts. Hmm. Yes, no, that's why most people tripping. Hmm. Hmm. They get their butt whooped, hmm. but you, you, don't, you don't believe in certain stuff, but other stuff you do believe in. You know? Well, anyway, um, I like this dude right here. He in hell. But he's, he's saying to Abraham, send someone to my family, man. I can give them, I can give them credit on that part because most people who are down there they won't company. <laughs> most of y'all who will laugh <laughs> and know where you're going to, you won't company. Mr. Love company. <laughs> this dude in hell trying to stop his brothers from coming to hell. <laughs> Many of y'all laugh <laughs> and not you ain't gonna stop no one from coming nowhere. In fact, you're gonna you're gonna fill the bus up and try to take them off the bus switch. <laughs> and if you like that, <laughs> I hope you go today. I hope you who if you like that, <laughs> if you got you like that in your man, I ain't got. I ain't gonna say last I ain't got nothing because I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? You can get the heck up out of it hmm, today. Where? Hmm. Uh, wish God to wipe all them people off the place of everyone we're trying to take people down. Where? You see what I'm saying? Because many people are just like that. Hmm. Where? You being mean. It's what this and that. Man, God, it's, it's certain stuff God hates. Hmm. It's six things the Lord hates, seven that's, that, that is detestable to him. Hmm. Where? Don't, don't tell me this and that. Uh, God don't like certain stuff. Hmm. All right? Hmm. And some stuff he hates. Yeah. Uh, y'all, most of the people approve of stuff that the Lord hate. All right, you see what I'm saying? Crazy stuff. But I, I like the dude because he said, he, at least he had the uh, courtesy to say, send someone to my brothers and stop them from coming down here. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you, you ain't trying to stop nothing. In fact, you want the bus to keep on going. Because you go on, you want the rest to go with you. You go by your damn self. All right. <clears throat> Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. If you don't take God at his word, the people giving you the if some if any one of y'all go to hell, you rejected God's word to save you to get you out of that. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Uh, many people want a sign. Hmm. You're not going to believe no sign if you don't take the word. Hmm. The word is a sign. Hmm. You don't need no signs. Hmm. You're going to get a sign. It's going to be too late. That's going to be when you wake up and boom, bam. <laughs> How I get here? Hmm. And this and that. Can I go back and fix that? Ain't no going back, dog. Hmm. Nah. Hmm. Ain't no going back. Once you're, once you're wherever you at, where you at, there is no going back. Hmm. You can cry all you want to cry. There is no. <laughs> why are you, are you tripping? You better get right now. <laughs> Esau, when he traded in his blessing, no matter how much he cried, he could not get that blessing back. <laughs> why didn't that story right there? Many people. <laughs> Jesus told a story about the uh, people banging outside the doors. In Luke chapter, Luke chapter 13, verse 22, it says, Then Jesus went through towns and villages teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. 
someone asked them, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, make every effort. <laughs> make every effort. <laughs> make every effort to enter through the narrow door. Because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, we ate and drank with you and you taught in our streets. <laughs> but, he will, but he will reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, all you evil doors. There, there will be weeping there and gnashing of teeth. You will see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets and the kingdom of God, but you yourselves will be thrown out. People will come from the east, west, north, south, and will take their places at the feast and the kingdom of God. Indeed, there are some who are, there are some, there are those who are last who will be first, and first who will be last. You see, you want to get the, you want to make every effort that you can right here, right now. As long as it is, as it, as it is a day called today, don't wait till tomorrow. You might not get it tomorrow, my brother. So just keep on getting high, keep on getting drunk, keep on having sex you ain't supposed to be having. You ain't gonna get it tomorrow. Keep on chasing stuff you ain't supposed to chase. You ain't gonna get it tomorrow. Keep on living in a way what you know you're not supposed to be living. You're not gonna get it tomorrow. That tomorrow gonna be today. You see what I'm saying? You don't die and go to heaven. You get there now. You don't die and go to hell. You get there now. It's rather you're there already or you're not. It's rather you're in hell already or you're not. What you mean? It's, it's you You know by your state of mind. Look around you. I ain't got to keep on asking you questions. Look around your look around your surroundings. What you got around you? What's on your walls? What you got around? Look, is, is it more God around or do you got more devil around? A lot of y'all got... Uh, man, just look around. You'll see where you at. Look at your surroundings. Are you in the game? You see the stuff that's all around you, man. Many of y'all got all this wild bull crap. Y'all surrounded by it. And you wonder why you is when you die. Like I say, God sent someone to you. And you ain't gonna get too many of that. I'm gonna tell you this straight up. If I didn't want many people, anyone ever come across me, and Lord, the best thing you can do is to accept what the Lord gave me. Yeah, but not only accept it, but uh, raise it up. Because to reject the one the Lord sent to you, that's your mistake. You might not get no one else. Same thing in Second Chron First Chronicles chapter twenty. Yeah, the Lord might not send you no one else. One thing I love and I appreciate. Uh, thank God for my great grandma. I never went. I never went over her head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and when, but you never get step two without taking step one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Step one. Before I knew anything about Jesus, I ain't know who Jesus was. I ain't know who God was. I ain't know nothing about the Holy Spirit. But I did know someone who did know. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you first sec, second Chronicles chapter twenty, verse twenty say, early in the morning they left for the desert of Tokar. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, "Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in His prophets, and you will be successful." Many of y'all don't put faith in the one the Lord sent to you. But y'all rather run to someone else who got a big church, this and that. Mega church, a lot of people. And not one of y'all being saved nor taught. You just know Jesus. How in the hell you just know Jesus but don't know the Father? And don't this and that. You see what I'm saying? Boy, many people just funny fashion, man. Big crowd of people. No one truly being saved. No one being taught. You just got a lot of company. Millions of people around, <laughs> and this and that. <laughs> Big church, a lot of people. <laughs> and the environment, great. A lot of music, woo, and this and that. Stuff feel good, music, cookout, this and that, all that. <laughs> no one being changed, no one being saved. <laughs> you just having fun. And the people don't give a damn <laughs> about helping people. Because <laughs> they know y'all condition. <laughs> and 
what Steven said is y'all go to the people who know y'all's condition <laughs> and sit up under them for 5, 10, 15 years <laughs> and not learn a damn thing. <laughs> and then teach all the people what you don't yet know. I've been saved five years going on six. I have no one to my left. I have no one to my right. It's been like that since I came out. <laughs> so I left all my apart. <laughs> I had no one to my left or to my right. I've been, I brought people around me, but they couldn't stick with me. Huh? Jesus, he had to walk alone. David had to walk. He said, even though I walk through the dark, I fear no evil. <laughs> Try to walk alone. Even though I'm alone, I'm not alone. <laughs> he said, my father always with me. I'm getting off here, y'all. <laughs> it's been an hour. I ain't know it's been that long. <laughs> time go by when you sit down and spend time with the Lord and His Word. Best thing you can ever do. <laughs> Be like Mary, not Martha. <laughs> uh, word. This is not a... Uh, a uh, <laughs> this is not a gene. No, this is not a... What's the word I'm looking for? Hmm. This is not a, a sex thing hmm. as far as man and woman. Hmm. When I say be like Mary, hmm. Mary. Uh, be like Mary, hmm. what she did, hmm. man or whether you're a man or a woman, be like Mary. Hmm. I ain't telling you to be feminine. Nah, hmm. that's what I meant by this ain't a man or a woman thing. This ain't a sexual thing. Hmm. Mary chose to sit down at the feet of the Lord and receive everything that God our Father has to say to her through Jesus. Best thing she could ever did. Hmm. Luke chapter 10, verse 38, say, As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened up her home. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to, to what he said. But Martha was distracted. You see, many people are distracted in, in the Martha road. Uh, by all the preparation that had to be made, she came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care? Of course I care. Mm. Lord, don't you care that my sister left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Mm. You doing work and ain't no one asked you to do, Mark. Mm. You doing this and you doing that, trying to prepare. The... <laughs> you ain't got to do all that. Mm. Mark, the Mark, the Lord answered. You are worried and upset about many things. Mm. Few things are needed or indeed only one. Only thing you need to be worried about, my brother or sister, is God your father. And if you, he said a few things, he said a few things need, you know, some of y'all got kids and little things y'all got to tend to say a few things need, or indeed really only one. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken from her. You see what I'm saying? Everything else you could lose. I could lose my house. I could lose my car. I can lose my clothes. I can lose my wife. I can lose my kids. I can lose this and that. You know, but the one thing you, he said, you, they ain't going to be taken from me. Is what's best for you. Mm. You know, I come in this world naked. I'm going out naked. Mm. You know, mm. I can't nobody walk with me or walk for me. Mm. If I got someone to my left, got someone to my right, I appreciate that. Because I roll with my soul to wherever they're going to go to. If Jesus was right, I'll fall into the grave. Mm. Or would have died trying, damn it. You see what I'm saying? Mm. David, so I'll have fallen into the grave. Mm. Or would have died trying, damn it. Because mm. these people around, I wouldn't follow these people nowhere. They'll lead you straight to hell. Mm. Follow these damn people. They don't, they don't want a damn thing for you. Hmm? They just want stuff, want stuff, want stuff. You miss me with that. Hmm? Why did I miss me? Hmm? Uh, uh, people playing games. Like Jesus said, they making the house a mockery. Hmm? Fun and fashion. I wonder why nobody being saved. You see what I'm saying? I don't want them to do it that. Hmm? People, they play games all they want to play. That's why you don't see me in many places. Hmm? Y'all play games all you want to play. I ain't going to play games with you, man. I'm going to tell you what I need to say. I'm, I'm gone. Hmm? All right? Just like that, he was gone. Hmm? I'm out at y'all. Y'all, I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me. Keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. Hmm? It's the Holy Spirit leading, leading you to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father in heaven. Get up out of here. You dig? Hmm? All right, up. Uh, Till then, I'm going to holler at y'all. Keep on praying for y'all. I'll see y'all again.